Monaco continued the lead in the Liga with another 3 0 win over Caen. Young prodigy Kylian Mbappe got the first goal of the match and set the tone for the rest of the game. The Principality team now have a three point cushion over Paris Saint Germain. The Mbappe show continued throughout the match with a penalty which he got by himself after he was brought down in the box which was then converted by Brazilian Fabinho his eighth goal of the season his seventh from this penalty spot and Mbappe completed a brilliant day with another goal Monaco 3 Con nil Paris Saint-Germain entertained Lyon at the Parc des Princes knowing that they had to get a win to keep within touching distance of Monaco but things didn't start well for them as Alexandre Lacazette got the first goal but then Javier Pastore returning to the Paris starting lineup set up Adrien Rabiot for his first goal the equalizing goal and was then on cue to set up German signing Julian Draxler for the second one Paris 2 Lyon 0 Paris closing the gap with Monaco to just three points. Not welcomed Nice. And things started well for the men in yellow. Jules Eloki set up Emiliano Sala. The Italian scoring the goal. Johan Cardinal had no chance. But then Jean-Michel Serri's thunderstrike brought the game level. Nice now third. One point behind Paris who have a game in hand. Lille welcomed Marseille to the north of France and a nil-nil result meant that the visitors kept their fifth place in Ligue 1 courtesy to a fantastic save by goalkeeper Pelé from European champion Eder. Bordeaux demolished Montpellier 5-1 in an afternoon to forget for the southern French team Diego Roland opened the score and Sankare added a second one shortly afterwards. Montpellier suffering at the back in defence. A penalty only made matters worse for the visitors. Converted by Valentin Vada. In the second half, the hopes of a comeback were on. Maria Budabu's penalty made the score 3-1 but Bordeaux were not to be denied this afternoon with another goal by Uruguayan striker Diego Roland and Brazilian Malcolm ended off the night in style with Bordeaux's fifth Bordeaux now level on points with Marseille in sixth position Saint-Étienne travelled to Dijon looking for a win that could keep their hopes of Europa League football alive and it was Aston Villa Loney Jordan Veritou who scored the only goal in that game Saint-Étienne now in 7th in the league standings Pascal Dupras Toulouse were looking to get a win after a series of draws but it was the visitors ran through Johan Goku who threatened the earliest and almost scored. It's a fantastic save which kept Toulouse in the match. Toulouse now down to 12th and Rennes stay in 8th. Angers' four wins in the last five games saw them climb up the table into 12th and things remained the same for Stefan Moulin's team as they faced Guingamp. Bamba got the first goal of the game and then turned provider for Thomas Mangani who scored the second. And then a fantastic solo effort by Famara Jedu completed a 3-0 victory for the home side. <laughs> Bottom of the table strugglers Metz and Bastia came face to face and it was an own goal that separated both these teams after the heroics of Bastia goalkeeper Jean-Louis Lecker. That goal the only one in the game and Bastia suffered their 15th loss of the season. 
Relegation threatened Nancy hosted bottom of the table Lorient and things started well for the home side with Fetou Mouassa getting the first goal. The referee awarded a penalty which Issa Dia then comfortably converted from the spot but that was before Lorient started an incredible and improbable comeback. Benjamin Mukanjo, Lorient's top goal scorer, was the first one to initiate the comeback. Then Wesley Lotoa got the equaliser. And Arnold Mvwemba got the winner in the 94th minute of extra time. So in the results, Mets win 1-0 against Bastia and they now climb slightly above the relegation zone. Paris Saint-Germain with an important victory against Lyon and Monaco continue their winning streak. Monaco with a three-point cushion at the top of the table. Angers move into the top 10. It's all too late now for Lyon who are 14 points behind Nice but with a game in hand. At the bottom, Lorient's win takes them within three points of safety. Losses for Dijon, Nancy and Bastia mean that they all stay in the relegation threatened area. When we return from the international break, Olympique de Marseille will take on Dijon. Stade de Rennes will host Olympique de Lyon and Monaco and Paris Saint-Germain will be playing in the League Cup final. So both their games will be postponed. <laughs> 